Welcome back everyone. 7.15 is the time and all this month our partners over at the Texas Tribune. They are highlighting changes to state law that will impact you come September 1st. They are calling it 31 days, 31 ways. So you recognize the managing editor, Iron Mitra, who joins us every Friday to talk about how these different laws are impacting you. Good morning again. Good morning. Okay, tell us about the law that is going to affect so many brides out there. I mean, every single bride getting married. Right, so this is a story that you guys covered before too, and so the law is actually official now. Before, a lot of people would have been surprised to know that it wasn't quite, it was in violation of state law for yes. hairdressers, uh, cosmetologists to work off-site at weddings, at wedding sites. Uh, and now that law has changed to uh, allow them to work legally off-site, even though a lot of uh, cosmeticians, uh, cosmetologists and beauticians are working at these sites. They were technically in violation, but now, effective September 1st, they are no longer in violation when they work off-site. Okay, well that's good news. It was all about a sanitation issue, right? It was yeah, not, okay. it, it, was, it was definitely about sanitation. It was just a uh, concern about that. But now the, you know, there was actually some uh, beauticians that actually spoke to lawmakers and said they have concerns. This is affecting their business, and they, you know, they they didn't they're not harming anyone. They thought that this was something that needed to be changed, and lawmakers were receptive. So Absolutely. it worked out. Okay, so brides, a big sigh of relief. You're not breaking that's the right. law on your big day. <laughs> okay, something else that we're talking about this morning um, is gift cards. Yeah. Always popular, right? I right. think everybody has received a gift card, you know, in their life. How is this law changing? Yeah, so before, uh, it, may, it may have been surprised that uh, if you had a balance of, uh, you know, a few bucks, yeah. uh, you couldn't cash it out. Uh, you usually had to use it all the way down. Yeah, like two dollars. Right, a uh -huh. couple of dollars. And so now the law has changed. If you have a balance of 250 or less, you can actually go uh, to the store and actually cash it out rather than it just hanging in balance you're not being able to, to, to get that money back. That, that was kind of upsetting right because <laughs> somebody gives you a gift card and you want to be able to spend everything but then your balance is you know a dollar or two dollars and you weren't able to do anything with it. Right you just had to sit with it on the card and uh, sometimes you would just forget about it because once you get down to that level you're just not thinking about spending that money so no. now you can actually get it. Hope for a really big sale. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay so you're encouraging people to read the Texas Tribune because this is really something I think that it's very unique and I think it really puts it into perspective these laws that are changing people's lives 31 days 31 ways. Absolutely and we're hoping that people will tell us their stories too on our uh, social media channels and just in our stories as well. Okay, see so what kind of reaction you guys yeah. get. Give us a sneak peek on what else you guys are working on. Well, I have a couple more things uh, coming up about, uh, there's some uh, some uh, preparation for some military uh, bases that we're, that we're gonna be covering later on in the month, just some funding things. Um, there's some things about uh, border security that we're also gonna be addressing. That was a big issue during the session. So there's some funding things that are going towards more uh, DPS troopers uh, along the border. So we'll be covering that coming up soon. Big topic, especially with the presidential debates and Absolutely. candidates on the campaign trail. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks for having me. All right.